Hello, and welcome to the latest Q&A in Screen Internationals for your consideration screening series. My name is Stuart Kemp, and I'm delighted to be speaking to filmmaker Yuri Lertich, who wrote, directs, and stars in Safe Place. His featured debut, Yuri's film, is an autobiographic family drama about a man trying to save his younger, depressed brother from taking his own life. The film has won three awards, including Best First Feature at the Carnot, where it premiered, and Best Film and Best Actor for Lerotich, who also stars at Sarajevo. Welcome, Yuri. Hello. Hello. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, Yuri, the film is autobiographical. How hard was the shoot for you emotionally? Um, uh, I think the whole process was a kind of um, contradictory, you no, know, like contradicted emotions. Um, when I start, I think after a period of grieving, I mean, grieving is a process never ends, but um, I was in a way, I think, fascinated that such a horror is possible at all, um, that life can comes go so quickly out of control and that someone you know uh, disappears somehow so 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 quickly and so radically and I started to write it more for myself you know just to somehow because I like to write but that um you know in the end uh, I think the urge to make this project was too strong so um so we come to the to the shooting and in the shooting it was in a way um it's it's contradictory because um, you have to, I, I was sometimes uh, lucky and happy that the scene is uh, great, that we make, managed to make it great. But on the other hand, um, how to be happy about a scene, which content is something you never wanted to happen in your life, you know? So, it's, so it was um, hard, I think, to hold these contradictory emotions, you know, to, to, to let them all happen in a way. And um, I think that was the, the the most hard process and the whole uh, the most hardest part in the whole process. And also now, people, uh, the audience, uh, sometimes uh, people come and say uh, my congratulation and my condolence in the same sentence. So so it's basically that's basically my feeling from the start of this uh, project. Uh, you mentioned earlier about writing uh, and how you had to write a, about it because mm -hmm. you like writing, and presumably that was a hopefully a cathartic process mm -hmm. did you always know you were going to star in, in your in in this your debut feature no no not at all i i haven't acted never in my life i was never even in a you know group in in a, in a school group uh, playing something but while we were doing the casting we were doing it like that that i was uh, alone with the actors and we were just recording the actor always, and I was just—you can hear my voiceover then in the in the in this uh, casting uh, tapes. And when I show it to the producers and and friends uh, and colleagues, they say, "But you sound good. Why don't you turn the camera to yourself?" You know, that was like one point. The another point was <clears throat> for me that while the casting project. I had the feeling that they are great actors, but that somehow I couldn't accept their performance or their interpretation. I think because I had like a, how to say, uh, like a dark spot or a, or a blind spot. So I think it's the it was uh, the experience of the person was so near to me of this character that I couldn't accept any other interpretation than mine. So from these two points that. Um, all the colleagues say, turn the camera to yourself. And and from my inability to accept the, uh, uh, the actors, um, they came up the idea, let's try. And we know that's risky, but on the other hand, I think it's nothing is so bad than to start any collaboration when you're not sure about it. So, so that's not a good starting for, point for a collaboration with the actor. So we, we try me in a way. And we, yes, and we really, it was not a gamble, you know, we try. And so it could, it could function. Yes. Um, so in that, in that sense, then when, when you, you, you've written it, you've realized in the casting process that you're going to mm. have to, uh, you, you're going to have, you're going to have to be in it. Um, can mm. you describe how you felt when the cameras first rolled? I mean, it's your first film. Yeah. It's, in a way, in a, in a way we really prepared so well that somehow I really slowly 
get used to it in a way. But the good thing was that the start that, of course, on the first day I was anxious, I was panicking. But the good thing is that it's also uh, the starting point for the par character in the film. So somehow my private emotions co correlate with the emotions of the character. And so I remember the first day, It's I think it was maybe the first shot and I had to crush the door, but uh, I was mentally, okay, I had my role, but it was funny because there's this dog in the scene who is circling around and we make a pet of cookies for this dog so that he, that he uh, goes through the shot in a way we wanted. So somehow it was like uh, funny and great. I mean, I was in a way, uh, I, I was really anxious about, uh, because that's also the character should be, but also as a director, it was, you know, uh, it was somehow funny because of this dog, you know, he, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't get him, uh, we couldn't get him in this line, how he circled to the, to the, um, uh, to the shot. So it was li like, I told you, uh, like um like very different emotions yes yeah. was that the dog was was the dog just there or was the dog no dog? no no the, the dog that was our dog but oh, we no. make from cookies like a pet so he circle around so that he goes from that to that point but as it usually is uh, when we tried it two days but on the day of the shooting it he won't do it you know so that was the funny thing about it yes yes uh -huh. How long did you shoot for? We shoot that uh, it was thirty working days, I would say. Yes. And 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 what proportion was shot on location first in Zagreb and then split? Well, I think it split is like thirty percent, and all the other is in Zagreb. Yes. And and was it uh, all location? Was it or did, or did you, Was it all location, or did you film some of it in in on on a set? No, no, no. We really tried to get this truthful. Um, so we just used the uh, original locations and it was hard because it was the post pandemic uh, time. So it was not easy to shoot in, um, in hospitals, even in police, but we really go for that authentic feel. That's why we didn't want to. Um, and it's, it's interesting when you come, when you, when you go to, as a director to a location, when it's the police, then you really start also to believe that's the police. When you have make, make up a police, you always have the feeling it's not good enough. You know, <laughs> it's always, you know, like made up because you made it. And when you go to, um, to a location, then somehow you also get the ideas from this, from that location. When you make a location by yourself, then it's, somehow just your extension of your brain it's not a collaboration between you and the and the and the authentic location yes wow uh, what what was the biggest challenge you faced making the film mm, i think apart from the for, dog in the biscuits <laughs> for me um the biggest challenge was somehow um to in this because it's a stressful period somehow to to keep the lucidity lucidity to to be open to somehow to i think we were really uh, we have very well prepared and we were know what we were doing but there's always something you can somehow include and take uh, take you know from the location from an actor for so somehow to be on on one side very precise to know what are you doing but be enough open to include what other people somehow bring in the process that was like kind of directing and and i mean generally um it was it was not easy to recreate for me uh, all the emotions i went privately through but in a way before of the starting of the film somehow i i was uh, already clear how how you can be clear about the thing i think if i were very fresh if i would just you know from the uh, from the grieving process jump into something like that i think i i i will i would not i could not manage it you know and i, I and i and i would not be objective in a way you know i think i would just all the images would somehow overwhelm me so yeah it's so so it was um yeah i think the most challenge was to hold all this emotion and to recreate them in a way yes incredible uh and finally um 
what would you like cinema audiences to take away with them after seeing after seeing this um, amazing it's, emotional film? It's very interesting somehow um, how the people react, and that's that's what 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 it's a very very big range. I would say how people react. For some people, it's very disturbing because I I, I they see a immaturity. Um, they see that we don't have the control over life, and in a way. They say they were like some 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 people say everybody has to see this movie, but just once in a lifetime because it, they were so shocked by it. For other people, that's a that's a that's a, fi a film about love, and I also think it about love and and a family and about how we could care about each other. And for some people, it's a movie about um, what you can do with your loss or what what you can do with your trauma. Because I'm acting it somehow. And uh, what I like especially is that I have the feeling that the movie somehow takes off the shame from the people and let them talk about their own losses or, or problems because they somehow saw how radically I'm not ashamed of it because of my loss because I am playing it in a way. So I think that's the mix which I really I somehow wanted to achieve this range in a way. So um, so I think it's it's really there. It's really there, but. Um, um, in a way, um, yes. From from every, I think because the 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 film is also very minimalistic. People really can put in their own, you know, uh, experiences. So um, yes, that's it. I will say what yeah. I. So for, forgive me. You uh, you you would hope that uh, people t take take away what they what they need from it as a yes. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I, I think it's uh, you know how John Ford say if I want to write them, uh, if I want to send a message, I send the telegram. You know, I don't make a, a movie, but I had a feeling that this story is very truth, truthful. That is somehow very authentic, and for me, it was never seen before in that way. You know, because death is always in movies like. Um, just uh, it's just a new beginning after the death all people become hum somehow stronger after that so it's never i wanted really to show this force in a way and i think it's not a movie you can lean on uh, i think it's more a movie you stumble over but in a way i think it's it's maybe a relief or a catharsis in that that you accept that mystery that you don't have everything in your control. So I wanted somehow to show this, so um, to show my experience of those topics in a way. Yes. Oh, that's well, that seems like a, a, a great note to end on. Um, thank mm. you very much indeed for talking to Screen International about your work, Yuri, and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for imagining.